I use they and them as my pronouns. Sam Smith announced they identify as non-binary and genderqueer. On Friday, the pop singer took to their Instagram to let fans know they are publicly changing their preferred pronouns to they, them. Excuse me, it's ma'am. Know your pronouns, honey. Know your f***ing pronouns. It's a world out here. Ahem. <clears throat> This video is sponsored by me. There's new limited edition merch on my merch store right now. And honestly, it makes me so happy to see you guys enjoying it and wearing it. And it also really helps the channel out a lot when you buy it. Link in the description. Check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're talking about misgendering. <gasps> Okay, but really. So preferred pronouns and misgendering and alternative pronouns are more of a topic than ever, which is really annoying. In a lot of places, you can be fired for misgendering coworkers or students or teachers. You can face fines for failing to refer to someone as Z and they. You can get beaten up in GameStop now for it. Excuse me, it's ma'am. Presidential candidates are now putting their preferred pronouns in their Twitter bios. <laughs> And it's just everywhere. There is now this huge landmine that you have to walk when interacting with people, and it's just kind of a nightmare. And I have a lot to say, as usual. Big mouth. So I'm gonna react to this video about non-binary pronouns by Now This, which is a publication which when I see it on my feed, I definitely say, oh, now this. Now this? Ugh. I use they and them as my pronouns. And when someone uses they and them as my pronouns, I feel like that person is listening to me. That person cares about me and that person wants to have a conversation with me. Now here's the thing, I am all for people having respectful interactions and dialogue. I feel like if someone tells me they wanna be referred to as something, I will do my best to accommodate that. But if you go around in the world with they, them pronouns, you're gonna to have to expect that 99.9% .9 of people, especially strangers that come across you, are not going to use they, them pronouns for you because that's just not the way we use language. A lot of language like Spanish and Italian actually have everything in their language gender down to tables being female. My friend told me this. Um, a microphone being male, whatever. So that's null in those languages. And even in English, we only use they and them to describe groups or someone whose gender is not clearly visible to us. But it's like if someone cuts you off in traffic and you literally can't see if a man or woman is driving, you will say they and them. So when I introduce myself, I generally say, hi, my name's Sam Britton. I use they and them as my pronouns and I serve as head of advocacy and government affairs for the Trevor Project. I give this before I even give my job because it's the important way that you're going to describe me. I'm sorry, but that's insufferable. You're already giving someone a task when they meet you. Here's the thing about pronouns that people do not understand. Your pronouns are not actually your choice. Stay with me. They're your choice if your friend is willing to accommodate you and call you they and them or Z and Zer, or if you're a biological male transitioning to a woman and you wanna be referred to you as her, which happened to me when I was younger. Obviously that in the sense is your choice. However, in terms of pronouns that strangers use for you, people on the street, people that don't know you, it's always going to be based on a subconscious registry of your secondary sex characteristics. What I mean by, we make snap judgments in our mind that we don't even think about, it's not intentional, based on the way someone looks and we use pronouns accordingly, she or her or him and his. That's not someone being malicious towards you, that's literally them looking at you, seeing that you're a man and using he and him. I would look at this person and call him him and he. Like the assumption uh, makes things easier. We are every single time we meet someone immediately putting some type of um, judgment on them really quickly so we know how to interact with them but that judgment could be wrong. In response to that, I would have to say, it's not judgment. I feel like that's such a harsh word. It's literally a subconscious registry of what you look like. It's not even a choice. It really is your choice to go through the world assuming that everyone is attacking and judging you when it's really not the truth. The harsh reality is really no one cares. And I think that's the hardest pill for a lot of these gender activists to swallow is that no one really cares. Now, from personal experience, before I transitioned, I was often misgendered. You know, before I fixed a lot of the features that I was born with, I had them and the world saw me as male because of them. And I was even sometimes very early on in my transition when I was trying to get it together, misgendered or cast registers would call me he or, you know, whatever. And honestly, did it hurt? Yes. 
I'm not going to sit here and say that it, like it, I felt nothing and that it didn't actually have a little bit of a blow to my pride. However, I never took it as an attack. I took it as more of a disappointment that, okay, I'm not doing what I need to do in my transition to make sure that doesn't happen. I put the onus on myself that if I wanted to go throughout the world and I wanted to go shopping and I wanted to do whatever and have people around me refer to me as a girl or see me as a woman, that I need to put more work in and make it happen for myself. Because how narcissistic and crazy would it be for me to police the speech of every single person around me, strangers and all, and get offended or get uptight every time someone called me he when I could just put the work in myself and make what I wanted happen because it was up to me. That's what I did. And honestly, after transitioning and at the point I'm at now, I have not had that happen for years. I mean, it's one thing to move from male pronouns to female pronouns through a transition or vice versa, but to like force people around you to use Z and Zer and they and them when that's just not the way humans interact with each other at all, unless you're in these like hyper liberal activist non-binary places and spaces. It's just not realistic. It's annoying. And honestly, I feel like it breeds animosity towards trans people. There is this perception that this is the way trans people speak when honestly, 99.9% .9 of the time, it's people like this, it's the activists, it's the non-binaries, it's the gender fluids. It's never just regular trans people that feel that way. Honestly, every trans person I've ever met, pronouns are important to them. You know, when I was transitioning, pronouns were important to me, but they all put the onus again on themselves, not everyone around them. It's not anyone else's fault. Funny story that happened just this week, my boyfriend Joey, you guys know Joey, he actually misgendered someone at work. He called me on his lunch break and he was telling me, you know, I feel so bad, there is this trans person who I didn't know was trans. He called me on his lunch break feeling really bad, saying, oh my gosh, I just accidentally called someone who wants to be called a she, a he. And it was a trans woman who, I guess was very, very early in her transition and Joey just didn't know. I mean, for God's sakes, he's literally dating a trans woman, me. I don't think you get more accepting or loving of trans people than literally dating one. It was obviously completely accidental and Joey felt really remorseful. And luckily the person understood and his coworkers and his bosses understood, but there are a lot of places of employment where if that happens, someone's taking a trip straight to HR and someone's losing their job, which would have been Joey if he was working at any of those other companies. And that is a problem. I remember when I started college, it was about a year before I started YouTube when I had just started transitioning. And I had a lot of those like gender activisty type friends. And there was this girl who was sort of in my group of friends and she would literally change her pronouns every four or five months. Like it was actually a thing. She was he at one time, she was she, she was they. It was on a whole other level, like just pronouns out of our minds. And I had the audacity at one point to use he after they had converted to they and them, but I had not heard about this yet. And the drama that ensued, let me tell you, was just so annoying, gross, over the top. This person went around campus, went around to all my friends, anyone who knew me, anyone who had an ear to listen and talked about how bigoted I was and how awful it was and how they were crying for three days and having to shower and all this stuff after I called them he when they clearly were presenting as they and them. And I was like, really? Is that deep? And that was honestly such a huge turning point for me that I realized I'm done dealing with these people who, you know, they want you to misgender them. They want to make a big deal about it. They want to be a victim. It's just so gross. Recently, Sam Smith came out as non-binary and wants the entire world to use they, them pronouns because it wasn't enough to be rich and famous. He also wants everyone around to bow down and, you know, change their language for him. And a lot of people are asking for my thoughts on the whole situation. And what I have to say is without outing anyone, Joey has some friends that are friends of Sam Smith. I know a couple people who roll with Sam Smith. Hollywood's a small town, get into it. And from what I have heard from all of those people is that he is just surrounded by non-binary people. He's friends with Alok. And from what I've heard, his personality type is just very much timid and you can easily get into his head, convince him of anything. And so they just rubbed off on him. And that's literally the extent of it, which is honestly kind of sad. But you know, that's hearsay, so take it for what you will. But that is all for this video, you guys. Make sure you leave a comment down below. I'll be reading every single comment. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you've not subscribed. I know this is not your first video. You've watched three, four, five videos and you just never hit that button. I'm here to remind you. You know what I mean? Hit the button and click the bell. Follow me on my social media and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.